we have Chris Brown and Rihanna. Chris Brown and Rihanna were once Hollywood royalty at the height of their romance. The two first met as teenagers in 2005 while starting off in the music industry. And it was from that initial meeting that they continued to cross paths. Fast forward to 2008 and it was revealed that the two were officially dating, according to Hollywood Life. Everything seemed to be going well until that fateful night in 2009 when it was reported that Brown had physically hurt Rihanna. Chris Brown was arrested and eventually charged with felony battery. When the pair went to court in mid-2009, Chris pleaded guilty to the charges and was sentenced to five years of probation as well as community service and domestic counseling. Rihanna even filed a restraining order against the singer which further shocked fans when the two tried rekindling their relationship years later. Next up, let's talk about Selena and Justin. Before Justin Bieber married Haley Baldwin, now Haley Bieber, and settled into his role as husband, the baby singer was linked to Selena Gomez for quite some years. Gomez and Bieber first went public with their relationship in 2011 after making an appearance at the Vanity Fair Oscars party. Since their relationship was super, super public, the two had a rather hard time keeping things just between them. There were many accusations of cheating and many times the two constantly hurting each other, according to LA Times. In an interview with Zane Lowe in February 2020, Bieber admitted to being reckless while dating Selena. I think I was just hurt from my previous relationship, Bieber explained. I think I still was dealing with a lot of unforgiveness and all that sort of stuff. To be honest, I don't even think I knew what I was struggling with at the time. In my previous relationship, he says, I went off and I just went crazy and wild, just being reckless, he added, speaking about his time dating Selena. Next up, we have Madonna and Sean. Sean Penn. Madonna and Penn's romance first started in 1985 after meeting on the set for the music video Material Girl. Both of them had just gotten out of relationships and first started off as friends. However, their platonic relationship quickly bloomed into a romantic one and by August 1985, the two tied the knot on Madonna's 27th birthday. The relationship started off good, but eventually things started to get rocky due to Penn's unpredictable outburst and temper. The actor had a major jealous streak and would often fly off the hinges when he saw other men getting close to Madonna. Eventually, Madonna filed for divorce in December 1987, later withdrawing the papers before filing again in January 1989. It's been rumored that the singer suffered years of mistreatment from Penn, which was believed to be the reason for their split. According to the Daily Beast, Madonna shut down those rumors in 2017, insisting the actor never laid a finger on her during their marriage. I am aware of these allegations that have surfaced over the years, accusing Sean of incidents of physical violence against me, she says. Specifically, I am aware of the allegations concerning an alleged incident that occurred in June 1987, whereby according to tabloid, Sean struck me with a baseball bat. I know the allegations in those and other reports to be outrageous, malicious, reckless, and false. Next up, we have John Legend and Chrissy Teigen. Chrissy is known to be quite the handful and fans believe John needs to get out of the marriage. John Legend has revealed that he once did try to break up with Chrissy Teigen years before they were even married and her hilarious reaction. I was really stressed and busy, John told The Guardian. I was just like, I'd be happier single right now. And she was like, uh, no. As she's known to do, Chrissy then took to Twitter after the story went viral to share a little bit more about the long ago incident. 11 years later, baby, she tweeted, it wasn't a typical breakup, she continued. He was on tour, his voice hurt, and he was being a whiny face about everything. And so yeah, I was like, no. Chrissy also revealed she was always jealous earlier on in their relationship. Appearing on Andy Cohen's radio show, the mom of four recalled she was so jealous and quote, so unhinged when she and John were first together, admitting that she'd start arguments after his concerts. Going to his shows when I was younger, like when we'd first met, and he would pull up a girl for the slow dance, and we would fight about this at the end of the night, she says. Next up, we have Scott Disick and Kourtney Kardashian. Kardashian 
Kardashian and Disick first met in 2006 at a party thrown by Girls Gone Wild creator Joe Francis in Mexico. Apparently, Kardashian wasn't really into Scott at first, saying, quote, I just thought he was so annoying, she explained during an episode of Keeping Up with the Kardashians. He was four years younger than me, he lived in New York, he didn't have a job. The couple's early stages of their relationship were captured during the earlier seasons of the reality show, and they seemed to be going strong. However, Disick's substance use, heavy partying, and drinking seemed to draw issues in his relationship with Courtney. The couple broke up in 2015 after Scott is photographed with Los Angeles stylist Chloe Bartoli. However, the two eventually get back together in December 2016, with a source telling E! News that, quote, they are getting back together and giving their relationship a try again. Scott has mellowed out a lot and has not been partying. By February 2017, Disick and Kardashian have broken up again after Disick is caught cozying up with two models in Miami. Next up, we have another Kardashian couple, the more famous one, of course, Kim and Kanye. Fans of the pair will know that over the course of their almost seven year long marriage, during which they had four children, North, Saint, Chicago, and Psalm, Kim and Kanye, aka Kimye, established a strong legacy as one of the world's biggest and most appealing celebrity couples ever. But their marriage was simultaneously one filled with arguments and moments of turbulence, many of which were documented across Keeping Up with the Kardashians. After their divorce in 2021, Kanye has done some tabloid worthy things surrounding their past relationship. After the gold digger artist made headlines for wearing a very controversial shirt during his Yeezy presentation at Paris Fashion Week, Kanye took to Instagram to question the backlash against him and to double down on his previous claims that the Kardashian family kept him from attending Chicago's birthday party that January. So why did everybody feel so free to attack me about my t-shirt, he says. But Candace Owens was the only public figure to say that it was wrong for the Kardashians to keep me from seeing my daughter, West wrote via social media, referring to his previous claims that in January when he alleged the Kardashians would not allow him to attend Chicago's birthday party. Or we just chime in when we want to tear a black man down for actually having a political opinion, he continues, and for all the audience to be so outraged about my t-shirt, where was he when I couldn't see my kids? I went public in hope of public support at the time, he says. Kardashians, for their part, have repeatedly denied Kanye's claims about Chicago's birthday after Chloe commented on Kanye's post begging him to quote, please stop tearing Kimberly down, adding she and her family have had enough of the false birthday narrative. Kanye hit back to her with an all caps response, quote, you are lying and are liars, y'all basically kidnapped Chicago on her birthday so she could remember her father not being there. Next up, we have Machine Gun Kelly and Megan Fox. Started off their relationship by being co-workers, but it quickly evolved into something more romantic. Fox and Kelly, whose real name is Colson Baker, met on the set of Midnight in the Switchgrass in March 2020. The couple raised eyebrows in February 2021 when the rapper revealed he wears a necklace with Megan's blood in it around his neck. Three months later, Kelly explained why that gift means so much to him while appearing on the Ellen show. Quote, well, she was actually going out of town to film a movie. This was really new in our relationship, he explains. I didn't have a passport, so she was going out to Bulgaria, and I was kind of freaking out, like, you're gonna leave and I can't even come see you? As a result, Megan gave him the pendant, which he carries with him when he isn't wearing it around his neck. Some people give, like, a handkerchief to their partner. She gave me her DNA, he added. In 2023, Megan sparked split speculation when she scrubbed Kelly from her Instagram and posted a series of pictures, a video of letters burning with a caption from Beyonce's infamous Lemonade album. The post came the same weekend the twosome attended several Super Bowl events, but according to a source, the actress ditched their plans after a quote, huge bite. She also deactivated her social media profile. She was supposed to go to his performance at the Sports Illustrated party, but they had a fight and she canceled plans and flew out Saturday evening, the insider told us. Oh, us. Despite the drama, a source told Us Weekly that Fox and Kelly were still together. They both have a very intense relationship and they are very passionate people. That combination can sometimes explode and they love hard but also fight hard, the insider explains. It is really a community communication issue that they need to work through and that is why they are going 
to counseling. The source continued, Machine Gun Kelly feels conflicted about partying like a rock star and enjoying this exciting time in his life instead of settling down. Megan has passed this partying phase of life and that's why they're at different stages. That is the real reason why they're struggling at the moment. Starting off we have Selena Gomez and Justin Bieber. Selena Gomez and Justin Bieber began dating in 2011 and from there on the pair had an on and off again relationship. With that in mind, they were definitely not immune to arguments and some of them were even caught on camera. They had many fights but the most famous one happened when they were snapped fighting in their van at an airport. They were getting on a plane to Paris and they got into a fight while at Princess Juliana International Airport in St. Martin. Selena was seen storming out of the car and walking to the airport by herself. She then threw her purse to the ground in frustration or to get attention, but who am I kidding, it was probably a little bit of both. Now as for Justin, he stayed inside the van for a while before eventually deciding to be with his girlfriend. In the meantime, Selena put on a happy face and met some of her fans there. Now this trip was after they got back together for the millionth time, but it seemed like both stars were miserable. Hopefully the flight was better for them both, but as we all know, they broke up for good in 2018. Next up is Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey. Recently Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey were spotted holding hands in Malibu and went to the celebrity hotspot Nobu. Now they were photographed while sitting at their table outside and from some of the photos taken, it appears that Taylor is yelling at Travis. Now a video of this was taken and surfaced on TikTok igniting rumors of an argument. Some even took the conversation to Reddit where they debated what she was yelling at Travis about. One fan claimed that Swift told Travis, I already asked you for that. Another wrote, lol she looks mad. However, plenty of Swifties were quick to defend the couple. Would people stop saying she's scolding him? Some people are animated speakers. Maybe she's just retelling a story. Like you have no idea so stop making sh up, one fan wrote in the comment section on TikTok. She's such a passionate girl period another said. I don't think for a second that she was screaming until crazy people started saying so because they were projecting their relationship onto others, a third person chimed in. It's a completely normal conversation. Now, what do you think? Is she yelling or is it just an animated combo? Let us know in the comments down below. Now we have Simon Cowell and Lauren Silverman. Simon Cowell and Lauren Silverman met in 2004 while on vacation in Barbados, although Lauren was married to businessman Andrew Silverman at the time. Years later, they began quietly seeing each other and in July 2013, people confirmed that the couple were expecting a child together and that Lauren had filed for divorce. Now in March 2021, paparazzis photographed Simon and Lauren arguing while strolling with their son Eric and their dog. People passing by the couple reported that the X Factor judge had a face like thunder while the couple appeared to be arguing, resulting in Lauren walking away from Simon and him crossing the street to walk on the opposite side of the road while speaking on his phone. Now this wasn't the first time the pair had been caught bickering in public as they seemed to be having a furious dispute inside a vehicle in New York City in September 2013. Now according to page 6, the pair were spotted arguing at the rear of an SUV with their windows down in broad daylight. Simon was seen with his hands in the air while Lauren appeared to be upset. Hours later though, the couple appeared to be okay as they strolled down New York's Upper East Side, smiling. Then there's Jennifer Garner and Ben Affleck. Ben Affleck and Jennifer Garner first met on the set of the 2000 movie Pearl Harbor but were in separate relationships at the time. Now the pair then started a relationship and got married in 2005 and they had three children and likely had a perfect family until their nanny Christine Ozonian claimed that she and Ben had an affair. Then in 2016, the pair got caught having an emotional moment inside a car prior to their divorce. The couple were snapped inside their SUV after dropping their three children at school when things got heated. Now judging by the pictures that circulated online, Jennifer was seen frustrated as she made hand gestures throughout the argument. At one point, she could be seen breaking down in tears inside the vehicle. Now the reason for this? Well, in 2015, sources told Page Six, amid reports of Ben's gambling and alleged cheating with other women, that the pair had drifted apart and had been in professional therapy for years. Now their split was announced a day after their 10th wedding anniversary and they finalized their divorce in 2018, but remain on good terms. On to Charles 
Sachi and Nigella Lawson. Charles Sachi and Nigella Lawson got married in September 2003, but their 10 year marriage gained intense media attention. In June 2013, photos emerged that showed the celebrity chef Nigella being choked by her then husband Charles during an argument out in public. Nigella reportedly left the restaurant where the altercation occurred in tears and moved out of the couple's home shortly thereafter. After the incident, Charles told the Evening Standard, There was no grip, it was a playful tiff. The pictures are horrific, but give a far more drastic and violent impression than what took place. Nigella's tears were because we both hate arguing, not because she'd been hurt. But the police and the public didn't agree. Nigella then applied for divorce, citing ongoing reasonable behavior. In July, seven weeks after the incident, the pair were granted a decree nisi, effectively ending their marriage. Now, I'm sure it wasn't the first time he had put his hands on her, but to do that out in public where anyone could see was just insane. Now let's talk about Jessica Simpson and John Mayer. John Mayer and Jessica Simpson were together for a year in 2006, but kept fans guessing with their on again, off again relationship. While they were on vacation in Cabo San Lucas, Mexico, John and Jessica had a public argument that unfolded on their hotel balcony. By the looks of the pic captured by the paparazzi, Jessica was so angry at him. Shortly after the picture surfaced, news broke that the couple had called things off. To add insult to injury, it was confirmed that they had actually broken up in these photographs. An insider confirmed the gossip to people. They broke up Sunday night, but who knows what the future will hold. This is the 12th time they've broken up. Their relationship is volatile. Last week they felt better than ever. This week things are rocky. Who knows what the future will bring? Yikes. Now I can't imagine having your breakup be recorded and photographed. Moving on to Stephen Amell and Cassandra Jean Amell. After Stephen Amell and his wife Cassandra Jean Amell had been married since 2012, but they had an incident on a Delta trip from Austin to Los Angeles that resulted in the actor being removed from the plane, according to Page Six. Now, according to the story, Stephen was yelling at his wife on the plane and seemed to be inebriated when the flight attendant repeatedly requested for him to calm down. The actor, however, was removed from the flight by an air marshal and three flight attendants who took him off the plane while his wife remained on the flight destined to Los Angeles. Stephen felt compelled to inform his followers what occurred on Twitter after the event became public, explaining that he let his emotions get the best of him. He said, My wife and I got into a fight on a Delta trip to Austin to Los Angeles on Monday afternoon. I was told to lower my voice, which I did. After about 10 minutes, I was ordered to exit the plane, and I did so right away. I let my emotions get the best of me, and that's the end of the tale. It has to be a sluggish news cycle. Then we have Megan McKenna and Pete Wicks. In March 2016, singer Megan McKenna joined the reality series The Only Way is Essex. Now, previous to her joining the cast, she and her castmate Pete Wicks were rumored to have been seeing each other. The couple started off their TV romance head over heels for each other, but with both of them having a tendency to lose their temper, things headed south quickly. Now, the relationship and failure of it became a major plot point of the show's 2017 season. About a week after the couple's tear filled split aired on the show, the pair took the drama to the streets. Literally, in what the Sun described as an explosive row that threatened to turn violent. Although they were apparently shooting a scene for the reality series, things got so out of hand that production staffers eventually intervened and separated the exes, who were face to face, screaming at, and manhandling one another. Although the reality stars just couldn't move past Pete's texting scandal, where he was caught sending racy messages to model Jackie Ryland during his time with Megan, they did seem to end up on friendly terms. They had a 2019 episode of Celebs Go dating, and they even exchanged a kiss and briefly flirted. Now, I'm sure that fight was exaggerated for the cameras, but I'm glad it didn't get any crazier than that. Next up is Adrian Malouf and Sean Stewart. Rod Stewart's son, Sean Stewart, and the former Real Housewives of Beverly Hills cast member, Adrian Malouf, dated for a few months in 2013, broke up, then briefly got back together before splitting for good. Now, TMZ spotted the pair fighting next to the red carpet at a charity event back in September 2013 and it seemed to signal the real end to their on-off relationship, as Adrian appeared at an event just a couple hours later with a much younger man, Jacob Bush, by her side. Now, Sean later claimed to Adrian's former Real Housewives co-star, Brandi Glanville, on her podcast, I do want to clear up one rumor, she never broke my heart. Now, regardless of what happened, fighting on the red carpet is never a good look. And finally, we have Emma Roberts and Evan Peters. Co-stars Emma Roberts and Evan Peters had a toxic relationship to say the least. Now, back in 2013, cameras caught the couple in the
the aftermath of a serious physical fight. The New York Daily News reported that on July 7th that year, Montreal police responded to a report of a domestic disturbance in a hotel room. They discovered Evan with a bloody nose and a bite mark and arrested Emma. Now, Evan chose not to file charges against her, however, and the paths caught a dramatic scene as a distraught Emma hugged him as the news made headlines. Afterwards, the pair told US Weekly in a statement, It was an unfortunate incident and misunderstanding. Miss Roberts was released after questioning, and the couple are working together to move past it. Whatever is going on with Ben Affleck and JLo, because everybody wants to know, are they getting a divorce? That is kind of the big question here. A bunch of celebrity gossip sites have been speculating for weeks that everything might not be as it seems between the married couple. Affleck has allegedly purchased his own home closer to the kids who live at Jennifer Gardner's house. Affleck apparently has been living there for the past little bit without JLo. Sources close to the couple say Jennifer Gardner is trying to encourage Ben to stay with JLo and work through any marital problems. Apparently, JLo and Ben were seen leaving Ben's daughter's graduation party together, heading to his place. But when they got there, JLo didn't stick around, getting out of one car and immediately into the next one. We don't know what happened, of course, we weren't in the car with them, but the move at the house didn't look good and it only fueled more rumors that the couple is in trouble. Ben was spotted without his wedding ring at one point while he was on set filming for a movie. Apparently, new photos of the house the couple purchased together last year have been popping up on Zillow. Sources close to the couple claim that the famous pair are trying to quietly sell their house now. Other sources share that the couple is just simply working on their marriage and a separation has yet to happen. Ashton Kutcher and Mila Kunis tried to keep one big secret as hidden as possible and for good reason. When it came out, they became a major disappointment to their fans and the internet in general. Kutcher and Kunis met and starred on That 70s Show together. They also starred in the show alongside Danny Masterson. Masterson was found guilty of acting inappropriately towards two women and has been sentenced to spend about 30 years behind bars for his behavior. This was amazing news to the average person. It was great news that he even got to trial. It seems the news wasn't so amazing to Kutcher and Kunis as the pair had penned letters to the judge handling Masterson's case asking for leniency. The letters featured quotes from Kunis claiming Masterson was an outstanding role model and friend. The internet did not appreciate their efforts at all and was quick to put the actors in their place, so much so that they posted an apology video to Instagram. In the video, Kutcher said, the letters were intended for the judge to read and not to undermine the testimony of any of the victims or re-traumatize them in any way. We would never want to do that and we're sorry if that has taken place. Some said the apology was not strong enough and their actions were inexcusable. Former Hollywood IT couple Britney Spears and Justin Timberlake held a pretty major secret for a long, long time until Britney recently shared it in her memoir. The pair were supposed to be parents. In her memoir, The Woman and Me, Britney shared that while she and Justin were dating, she got pregnant. Apparently, at the time, Justin didn't feel he was ready to be a father, so Britney had to terminate the pregnancy. However, Britney wanted the child. She was ready. In the book, she wrote, if it had been left Left up to me alone, I never would have done it. Shortly following that up with, to this day, it's one of the most agonizing things I have ever experienced in my life. It's made pretty clear that Britney wanted the child and felt forced into what ended up happening. This story took the internet by storm when it came out. Timberlake received a lot of criticism for it. People started looking back at the way Justin acted and spoke about Britney after their breakup. At the time, it wasn't very nice, but with the new info Britney dropped, it only makes JT look even worse. Adam Levine cheating on his wife was major news, especially since absolutely no one saw it coming. Levine seemed like the perfect, supportive, devoted husband, so it was incredibly shocking when the Maroon 5 singer was caught. Even more shocking, his wife and him are still together. Even more shocking than that, the affair was brought to light by his affair partner after Levine and his wife had announced his wife's third pregnancy. Yeah, the drama was like off the charts for this one. Levine did 
denied cheating, but did release a statement about the whole situation saying, I used poor judgment in speaking with anyone other than my wife in any kind of flirtatious manner. I did not have an affair. Nevertheless, I crossed the line during a regrettable period of my life. In certain instances, it became inappropriate. I have addressed that and taken proactive steps to remedy this with my family. My wife and my family is all I care about in this world. To be this naive and stupid enough to risk the only thing that truly matters to me was the greatest mistake I could ever make. I will never make it again. I take full responsibility. We will get through it and we will get through it together. They did. They are still together. Levine's career though has suffered, likely due to this controversy. Barbara and Dylan Sprouse are one of the internet's favorite celebrity couples, so when he was accused of cheating on her this year, quite recently this year, hearts broke around the world. The pair married just under a year ago, but were together about five years. People love this couple because they seemed so like happy and devoted to each other. Allegedly, Dylan cheated on Barbara with an underage girl, which makes all of this even worse. Dylan does have a past of cheating. He cheated on his last girlfriend, Dana Frazier. Fans are desperately hoping that this news isn't true and it is still actually technically unconfirmed. Hopefully, this was just someone trying to stir up some unnecessary drama. Ryan Reynolds and Blake Lively are hiding a pretty big secret. They know who is playing Lady Deadpool in the latest upcoming Deadpool movie, and I have a sneaking suspicion we all know too. It just came out that Lady Deadpool is going to be making an appearance in Deadpool and Wolverine. The newest movie teaser featured a slow-mo shot of what everybody assumes are Lady Deadpool's legs. Now, Ryan and Blake know for sure, and the rest of us are only like 99% sure, that those legs belong to none other than Blake Lively, wife to Ryan Reynolds, and according to the creator of Lady Deadpool, Lady Deadpool's inspiration. How cool it must be for the people who created Lady Deadpool to have the person they based it on play the role live action. This info is coming straight from a caption Rob Liefeld, Lady Deadpool creator, wrote himself about the character. Until the movie is out, Blake and Ryan will probably keep the secret close to their chests, and July can't come fast enough. A small group of people on the internet believe Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift are hiding the darkest secret of all, that they are part of a massive Pentagon secret plot to get Biden re-elected. This is real and I promise I am not making it up. It made headlines around when the Chiefs won the Super Bowl earlier this year. There is a link to be found between pop culture and voting. In the past, when Swift has posted on her social media accounts asking people to register to vote, there has been a recorded spike in voter registration, so their claims are not completely baseless, I guess. Some people add on to this theory that the Chiefs winning the Super Bowl was part of the plot, so the game was rigged for them to win. Possible believer of at least some parts of this theory, Mike Crispy, tweeted some insight into how it works. He wrote, The NFL is totally rigged for the Kansas City Chiefs, Taylor Swift, and Travis Kelsey, all to spread democratic propaganda. Calling it now, KC wins, goes to Super Bowl, Swift comes comes out at the halftime show and endorses Joe Biden with Kelsey at midfield. It's all been an op since day one. So it seems like part of this plan would be giving the Chiefs the win so Taylor could get on the field and have cameras on her that are broadcasting to all of America so she could endorse Biden. As we know now though, Taylor did not do any of that. Rihanna and ASAP Rocky have got something big in the shadows just waiting for the right opportunity to come out, Rihanna's new album. One can only assume that ASAP has heard a portion of it. Man many people dating musicians get to hear at least a little bit of the work while it's in production, like Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift for example. Plus. Both members of this relationship are great artists. Is there a possibility of a collab in the future? Rihanna teased her ninth album back in April this year while at a Fenty red carpet event. Speaking to Extra, Rihanna shared, It's gonna be amazing. It has to be. That is the only reason it's not out yet. She even spoke on the potential of a collaboration saying, I'm not a big collaborator. It has to be very intentional, so I'll know when I have the record. Not, no confirmed release date, but at least fans have a sure confirmation that Rihanna is working on something and won't release it until she's completely happy with it, so it's something to look forward to. 
Will Smith and Jada Pinkett Smith were holding a pretty major secret at the event that changed Will Smith's life, the 2022 Oscars. Will Smith performed the slap heard around the world after Chris Rock made a tasteless joke about Jada, after which Will headed back to his seat and yelled at Chris to keep his wife's name out of his mouth. But it turns out, as it would be revealed years later, that wife wasn't exactly the word he should have used, maybe, since he and Jada apparently were separated at the time. Jada shared with people that the actors had been living separately but not divorced for years before the incident occurred. The public knew that the couple had some rough moments over that period of time but had no idea it was that bad. Mark Wahlberg married American model Rhea Durham in 2009 and the pair are still together. However, Mark is hiding a surprisingly dark past, the kind of stuff that would get an actor for sure cancelled nowadays. In 1986, Wahlberg and his friends had a civil rights injunction issued for them. The group was accused of yelling racially insensitive words towards a group of black children and even throwing physical objects at them and even chasing one of them. It seems Wahlberg didn't really learn anything thing from that civil rights injunction, considering two years later he committed an even worse transgression. He acted aggressively towards two Vietnamese men, cursing at one and knocking them unconscious with a large stick. The other he punched despite not knowing the victim. Wahlberg was jailed for this offense but was released 45 days into a two year sentence. A few years later, it is 1992 and Wahlberg's neighbor at the time became acquainted with Wahlberg's violent habits, the man needing a long visit to the hospital after. Wahlberg endorsed some anti-LGBTQ plus people on TV. It wasn't until about 2006 to 2010 that Wahlberg started coming out and saying he regretted his actions and was seeking forgiveness. When it comes to Khloe Kardashian, I would say one of her most toxic relationships in the sense that she can't seem to let go of it or escape it, and probably that isn't great for either party, is Khloe Kardashian's on and off again romance with Tristan Thompson. Throughout the years since 2016, the two have been together and have broken up multiple times. The worst part of this relationship is basically all the cheating that happened and the fact that while it was happening, these two were having kids, trying to raise them. Tristan cheated on Chloe multiple times, sometimes even making her look like a fool in public when she was praising him just in time for a cheating or paternity issue to come to light in the press. Fortunately, Chloe has ultimately decided to move forward with her life. While the two do remain amicable for the sake of their kids while co-parenting, she has said that she is completely done in regards to pursuing or having a romantic relationship with Tristan at this point. Honestly, even though this next relationship sounds like it had a lot of crazy ups and downs and a lot of problems throughout it, this is a couple I've kind of always rooted for a little bit. And while today they're no longer together, I still kind of root for them today, separately obviously. Interesting. We're talking about Eminem and his ex-wife Kim Scott, often known obviously as Kim Mathers. The two met when they were both in high school. Kim was actually a teenage runaway and she was actually 13 when she met Eminem, who was 15. He immediately seemed to take a liking to her and seeing that she needed a place to stay, he brought Kim home with him to stay with him and his mom. His mom also liked Kim and she wanted to help her out. She said that she saw Kim as a challenge, someone who she hoped she could make a difference with and make her life better. In 1999, Kim and Marshall were married, but previous to that, they actually had a daughter together, their famous daughter, Haley, who was born in 1995. Eminem and Kim have been married twice, but neither time worked out for them, despite them having an extremely lengthy on and off again romantic relationship together. Today, they are close friends who co-parent three children together, one of which is Kim's son by an ex-boyfriend. Another is their niece, the daughter of Kim's twin sister who tragically passed away. And the third, of course, is Haley, who is now all grown up and actually recently got engaged. For a lot of people, the age difference as well as completely different vibes of these two made the relationship kind of a strange one. We're talking about Kim Kardashian and Pete Davidson. Honestly, I too feel this is kind of a weird pairing. I feel like these people have just like such different vibes, but hey, sometimes opposites attract, I guess. At the same time, I feel like Pete must have some kind of like allure to him or something. He's been attached to so many beautiful and talented women. What's his secret is the question. For Kim, she said that she was attracted to his sense of humor and just really loved that he made her laugh. Honestly, I feel like after Kanye, maybe this was a relationship that made sense when you think about it, because I feel like Pete is very different <laughs> from Kanye West. 
I mean, this next one seems like it was an unhealthy obsession that may have happened on both sides, or at least on one of these two sides. We're talking about a fan favorite relationship, Justin Bieber and Selena Gomez. Initially, after they broke up, it seemed as though Justin could not let Selena go, and even expressed in interviews after their breakup how much he still loved her. Both accused the other of cheating after their breakup, but would years later come back together briefly in 2017 before once again going their separate ways. It was after they split up that Haley, who had dated Justin in the in between times, Haley Baldwin, showed back up and stole Justin's heart, and then the two ended up being married later in 2018, only a few months after Justin and Selena had once more decided to call it quits. Khloe Kardashian seems to be stuck in a constant cycle of just like various bad or somewhat toxic relationships. One of the worst ones she was in was a few years back now though, and that would be her relationship with Lamar Odom. What made this relationship so toxic? Well, actually it started off not being super toxic, just being kind of I think a bit much for some people. It seemed to move a bit too fast for most people's tastes for one, which really was only reflected back as being an issue later on in the relationship when they had some other problems. These two ended up getting engaged only after a few weeks of dating. I've been in relationships for years, honestly, and not been engaged. So for me, that feels like it would be moving really fast in terms of just like my preferences. So I'm like, wow, that's, that's a quick engagement. But while it might seem like that engagement would be short lived because you know of how fast things moved. These two still did end up getting married and were even together for four years. So honestly, impressive. Considering how fast they move, it's I'm just amazed by that. Tragically, the toxic ending for this relationship came from struggles with substance addiction on Lamar's side of things. This ultimately led to the end of their relationship. So it didn't end great, but at least they they tried. It seems like Megan Fox and Machine Gun Kelly, or MGK, might have some secrets that they are working through consistently. I feel like they're always having some issues that they have to work through. This couple has seen some major highs and major lows throughout the years, and I think a big part of why so many people have strong feelings about them is because a lot of people just don't like the two of them together. I think a lot of people just don't like MGK for Megan. Most people think Megan kind of like downgraded, I guess, when she went for him, but to Megan, she said she felt an instant connection with Colson Baker, MGK's legal name, when the two of them met on a film set where they were working together. Megan is super into astrology, and she just basically felt that on an astrological level, they were in essence destined to basically be soulmates. She has said that despite what the future holds for their relationship, she will always feel a draw to MGK as she sees the two of them as being each half of one single soul, saying that they are basically twin souls and as such, she'll just always be tethered to him in some way. Harry Styles ended up creating some drama both on set and in the life of Olivia Wilde. And Olivia Wilde also obviously has her part for creating that drama. It was rumored that they got together on the set of Don't Worry Darling when Olivia was still married. She apparently kept her longtime fiance and father of her children, Jason Sudeikis, away from the set, citing COVID as her reasoning, as he usually would visit her at set. But some think that she actually wanted to do this because she just wanted to hide her infidelity from him. However, this is is all speculation. But what we do know is less than a year after meeting on set, Olivia and Harry attended a wedding together as one another's dates in 2021, going public with their relationship. It was a dramatic relationship and would ultimately result in Olivia separating from Jason, who she shares two children with, and with Jason serving her court papers regarding the custody of their children while she was in the process of presenting Don't Worry Darling at CinemaCon in 2022. Very dramatic. Needless to say, the pressure was probably too much for Harry and Olivia, whose relationship ended in late 2022, less than two years after they went public. Hearing Rihanna talk about how she felt after it was revealed that she was mistreated by Chris Brown was interesting and honestly, somewhat hard for me to hear. Rihanna went on to say that after it was made public what Chris had done to her, she kind of felt this weird feeling. She felt kind of like bad for him and actually wanted to be there for him and console him. While she understood, of course, what he had done was wrong and bad and she condemned that in her mind, she also felt he didn't deserve to lose his entire career and weirdly felt some shame and guilt in regards to being a part of that and wanted to like be there for him through it, even though she was like, it's really weird. You feel this really weird sort of two sides. This is also something a lot of folks feel in relationships of that nature, victim blaming themselves even. So it's as weird as it is, it is weirdly common. 
Is this next relationship the most toxic of all time in the celebrity world? I'm not sure, but if it's not, it's at least like got to be really high up there on the list. This relationship happened between Johnny Depp and Amber Heard. Yeah, we're talking about that relationship. We all know it because most of us were probably keeping up with the legal battle between them and later found ourselves completely enthralled and somewhat consumed by the dramatic court case that unfolded between these two. I think the court case stands for itself, and if you're not familiar with it, you can go check it out. It's all out there for you. Oh boy, I would hate to be in a case like that. It's like so much of what happened between you is public, and you're also just firing shots back and forth at each other crazy. This next one was toxic because of the speculation surrounding the relationship and exactly when it really started. We're talking about Kylie Jenner and her first long-term relationship with Tyga. What was so controversial about this? Because Tyga was so much older than Kylie, that's a lot of the controversy here. These two met in 2011, but denied that they started seeing one another at that time. In fact, they even claimed that when they appeared to be closer three years later, with Tyga even throwing a birthday party for Kylie's 17th, that they were not dating at that time. This is despite the fact that Tyga shortly thereafter would get Kylie's name tattooed on him and also end up buying her an expensive car. Oh, and he also called off his engagement to the mother of his child, Black China, which happened reportedly days after he threw Kylie her birthday party. However, Tyga still insisted that he hadn't left his fiance for Kylie, saying that that would be ridiculous. But for many, this doesn't seem too ridiculous considering everything else that was going on at the time and the fact that the two did end up later dating for two years. So. Starting off, we have Haley and Justin Bieber. She was a rich Nepo baby with the right connections to meet her childhood crush, and he was slowly going more off the rails as the years went on. Together, they're a match made in heaven and set to produce the world's most interesting Nepo babies, to say the least. Haley has not had an easy marriage to Justin, who often disrespects her, slams doors on her, or even intentionally embarrasses her. Yikes. Bieber said that he made the choice to love and marry Haley. The way he described the decision made it seem like he felt obligated to marry someone in a way to help fix himself or because her uncle set it up. I'm just going to choose this woman and just do it, Justin also added. For a wife, just choosing this woman is a kind of weird thing to say considering they got married just three months after his past relationship ended with his infidelity. The wedding was sweet but a little awkward. Haley was so excited and smiling the entire time but Justin was just emotionless for most of it. Literally just randomly screenshot any part of the wedding video and just look at his face compared to Haley's. The whole mood was just awkward. Another relationship that didn't last because they secretly hated one another was Miley and Liam. Miley Cyrus admitted that she was dating her The Last Song co-star, Liam Hemsworth, in 2010, but their relationship hasn't exactly been seamless. By June the same year, the couple had split, but then they got back together and break up, then back together again, and then broken up. They were on and off. They became a stable couple in April 2011, but it still wasn't picture perfect. Liam was always shutting Miley down. There's famous footage of them on a red carpet where she licks his face playfully and he responds with, can't you ever behave, through gritted teeth. By June 2012, they were engaged. Miley's rocking a rock on her finger and gearing up for her big day, and once again, Liam cheating rumors emerge. The pair later called off their engagement in September 2013 for that reason, with Miley going off the deep end for a little there, leading to the whole foam finger and black culture appropriation controversy she had. In an October 2015 interview with Men's Fitness, Hemsworth seemed to admit that he still had feelings for his then ex-fiance, Cyrus. These seem to have inspired the songstress to hit DMs, because what do you know, in October 2016, Cyrus confirmed that the pair were engaged once again by cracking a joke about her ring on Ellen. But now they are 100% off if Miley's Grammy-winning song, Flowers, is any indication. Courtney and Scott Kardashian and Disick first met in 2006 at a party thrown by Girls Gone Wild creator Joe Francis in Mexico, according to Us Magazine. Apparently, Kardashian wasn't into Desik at first, saying, I just thought he was so annoying. She explained during an episode of Keeping Up with the Kardashians, according to Cosmopolitan. He was four years younger, he lived in New York, he didn't have a job. All very valid reasons. This couple's early stages of their relationship were captured during earlier seasons of the reality show, and they seemed to be going strong. However, Desik's substance abuse, heavy partying, and drinking seemed to draw issues in his relationship with her, and actually led to infidelity. Courtney and he became 
became incredibly resentful towards one another, he for not having his frat boy lifestyle upheld, and she for not being treated like a mother and a partner. The couple broke up in 2015 after Disick was photographed with a Los Angeles stylist, the final affair that broke the camel's back. Until December 2016 when the couple gave it another go, but only a month or so later, in February 2017, it was over in a snap thanks to cheating. Since then, it's common knowledge that Scott misses Courtney and wishes he could undo his past wrongs. Courtney, however, moved on, and while she co-parents with him, the couple are staying separated. Johnny Depp and Amber Heard met on the set of The Rum Diary, and I know nobody will ever watch that movie ever, but fun fact, it was weirdly predictive of what their lives would become. Depp left his partner of 14 years and mother to his child to be with the younger Heard. By early 2012, the two started dating and were married by 2015 during a private ceremony in their home in Los Angeles, according to Insider. Only a year later was Heard filing for divorce, also obtaining a temporary restraining order alleging that Depp had physically harmed her during their relationship. Depp denied the allegations, claiming Heard was attempting to secure a premature financial resolution by alleging. According to The Guardian, since then, the two have been embroiled in back and forth claims. Meanwhile, Will Smith and Jada Pickett have been going through it for well over two years now. The affair, the book, the slap. 2023 has been the year of watching Jada intentionally or otherwise completely demolish her husband's career. Whether you like her or not, this is a fact that can't be denied. As Will Smith's ratings, availability, everything have just plummeted no matter how hard he tries to handle the situation. Jada recently confessed that she really didn't want to get married to Will Smith. In fact, the Matrix actress admitted to crying down the aisle before tying the knot with the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air star on New Year's Eve in 1997. As it turns out, the infamous Oscar slap was just the beginning of already very underway scandal. Jada, the catalyst for the slap that led to her husband's 10-year expulsion from the Academy Awards, had a whole lot more to say about the incident and her marriage in Worthy, a memoir released in October. As Jada hit the publicity circuit, she dropped bombshell after bombshell, but all of them at the expense of her husband with a thin veil of, no, I'm talking about myself actually, laid over top of it. The biggest bit of drama somehow came not from her cheating, then making him sit at a table and talk about her cheating, then writing a book about her cheating. It was actually when Pinkett announced she and Smith had been separated for years before that fateful Oscar night. Only one half of this couple deserves the wave of social media criticism. Kiki Palmer and Darius Jackson. Imagine begging Kiki Palmer and then doing what this man did. It was confirmed by Us Weekly on November 9th that Palmer is seeking a restraining order against Jackson and requesting full custody of their son. Turns out he is a classic woman hater. He doubled down on his stance at the time, writing in a sense deleted July 5th post, we live in a generation where a man of the family doesn't want the wife and mother to his kids to showcase booty cheeks to please others and he gets told how much of a hater he is. He added, this is my family and my representation. I have standards and morals to what I believe. I rest my case. And though Kiki didn't respond to the online drama directly, she did begin selling I'm a mother merch shortly after. Not to mention, she teamed up with Usher himself after the fact to star in his music video for his single, Boyfriend. According to the docs obtained by us, the actress claimed that she and Jackson called it quits in October very shortly after his public Twitter tantrum. A reality TV scandal really had an impact and left three people miserable. If you weren't a Vanderpump Rules fan, to fill you in, the controversy was over Tom Scandival and Ariana Maddox, the two longtime stars from the Bravo reality show. The two have been dating for nine years when, without warning, in March it was revealed they'd broken up. Yeah. Turns out Sandoval had been cheating on his girl of nine years with her best friend and co-star Raquel. Ouch. Not only was the affair confirmed, much of the aftermath played out in public on Vanderpump Rules reunion special, Instagram and podcasts. Maddox now says she has no interaction with either of them. Meanwhile, Raquel has had a complete breakdown over the consequences of her own actions and quit the show before checking herself into a mental health facility. All the while, the man in the middle, Sandoval, is still holding on, still making statements about how he fought so hard for Raquel and was fully in love with 
with her, but she shooed him away when the scandal broke. Next up, we have Joe Jonas and Sophie Turner. Joe and Turner called it quits after four years of marriage, with Jonas filing for divorce on September 5th. According to the paperwork, the musician stated that it is in the best interests of the couple's two daughters that the parties have shared parental responsibility. Immediately after news of their divorce leaked, it was very obvious that Joe's PR team was leaking stories to the press about Sophie. It was poorly done and made him and his team look really bad. The first version of the story was that Sophie was a partier and that Joe had to do all of the parenting. There's ample footage and evidence that the situation in reality is reversed. He is a much bigger partier and they have both talked about this on record before, as have many individuals and news outlets. Then things got even more embarrassing because sources close to Joe started releasing a ridiculous number of successive stories about the divorce, including the ring doorbell drama. Megan and Machine Gun Kelly are notoriously rocky and swing back and forth between utter adoration and complete hatred. Megan Fox and Machine Gun Kelly have been dating since 2020. A source close to Megan says, it's always the same thing. They have severe trust issues in the relationship. It's been rough, but they're still trying to work through it. Back in March 2023, a source claimed they were on a break, but still in contact with each other. They said they are very hot and cold. They have stalled wedding planning to work on their issues. Their relationship is pretty volatile at the moment. They are currently off, but still texting each other. Megan took to Instagram to set the record straight on her high profile relationship days after cheating rumors dominated headlines in February of 2023. These rumors were sparked by her deleting all her photos of MGK from Instagram and posting a cryptic quote about dishonesty. Last but not least, we have Kim Kardashian and Chris Humphreys. Their 72 day marriage had certainly shown signs that it was going to end quickly. A few days before Kim divorced Chris on day 68, the couple were spotted arguing in their car while out on a dinner date in Hollywood. The newlywed couple were photographed heading back to Kim's car after dinner and you could visibly see the tension in the air. Chris looked fed up and Kim was giving her new husband the death stare while yelling and waving her hands at him as the argument began to escalate. This very public fight was indicative that their relationship was on the rocks because that same year, Kim went on to file for divorce and get the marriage annulled. The Los Angeles Times even reported that Kim had only married him to increase ratings on Keeping Up with the Kardashians. The best part was that Chris asked for a $7 million divorce settlement from his ex-wife. Otherwise, he threatened to make her endure an ugly public trial. But the NBA star ended up walking away with literally nothing. Ariana Grande shocked the world when she divorced from her real estate husband, Dalton Gomez, who I personally think looks a lot like Pete Davidson if he wasn't from New York, and began dating <laughs> yeah, SpongeBob. Well, at least from the Broadway musical Ethan Slater. And right away, the two began to get instant hate because of the rumored cheating that happened. And long story short, the two were in a different relationship and started hanging out and having double dates with their previous partners and ultimately broke things off and ended up together. They've been quite quiet about their relationship, but one person who was Ethan's ex, Lily J, has welcomed their son back in 2022, but a year later filed for divorce and began dating Ariana and people have even compared Ethan to looking a lot like Ariana's brother Frankie and let's take a look to compare and let's take a guess on which one's Ariana's brother versus Ethan. Ethan Slater. I'm gonna be completely honest, they look a lot like a different font of each other, or at least a mirror reflection. Well, if you guessed Frankie was on the left and Ethan was on the right, ding ding ding, you got it right. And one Reddit user wrote, Ethan is slightly more punchable, I think it's his bob teeth. That was not my words, but another user also wrote, they look like identical twins who have made a pact to look different from one another, to little success. Like I see the similarities and identical, maybe a little bit. Plus others have been saying Ariana's been slowly more morphing into Ethan, but I'll let you be the judge of that. And another celebrity couple that keeps getting in trouble is Kanye West and former Yeezy employee Bianca Sensori. As controversial as Kanye is, this relationship just makes things worse as many believe he is using Bianca like a prop in order to humiliate and get back at Kim. She looked a lot like Kim before dating Kanye as we can see here. The hair, the style, the body, they were all similar. But once Bianca began dating the rapper, she completely changed her appearance. 
She's blonde now, has short hair, and many even notice Connie has completely changed her style as she often wears sheer clothes that basically show off her entire body. And this couple has even gotten banned from a company in Italy after being photographed on their boat doing questionable activities, and that went viral. From the moment Selena Gomez made it public that she began dating Benny Blanco, the comment section went crazy. And they started to compare Benny Blanco to Pete Davidson as they don't understand how he pulled such a beauty like Selena. And of course, beauty is suggestive, and months after hinting towards a new crush, it was finally confirmed in December of 2023. So first, she liked the celebrity post page about the rumors surrounding her and Benny, and then the same account posted that Selena liked their previous photo, and Selena even commented facts to confirm she is indeed dating Benny. Plus, let's take a look to see what she added on her story. She looks all cuddly and comfortable, but I can't stop staring at his zebra shirt. There's so many zebras. And when people commented about Selena's new relationship, calling Benny words like unhandsome, Selena would defend her man and write back with, I feel bad for you. And in another comment, even added he's better than anyone else she's ever been with. So although many Selena fans are just happy, she's happy, others are critical. But like Selena once said, it comes naturally when you're with me, baby. <laughs> Gypsy Rose was sentenced to prison after being involved in her mother's passing and gained huge media attention as she was recently released, and some are happy for her because of the motives behind her actions years ago as she suffered from Manchhausen syndrome by proxy. But since she was released, her husband Ryan has been getting hate and many have been comparing his looks to Gypsy's mother Dee Dee as we can see in this photo. The two side by side are honestly quite similar but she wasn't afraid to defend her love in his Instagram comments telling him not to let the hate get to him because they're just jealous he's got a fire D. Her words not mine. Okay, for a period of time, I'm pretty sure I couldn't search for football scores or news without without seeing anything about Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift. And this made many fans, I should specify and say football fans, mad because there were so many comments about how she's just using him for a new album. But the majority were mad that too many broadcasters were mentioning Taylor Swift and would cut away to the game which made them feel like it was destroying it. I don't know, I don't really watch football. Chris the producer, what do you think about this? Actually, I don't watch Oh, <laughs> well, you can let us know if you watch football, but besides all that, her fans seem to be very happy for her as they've been sharing clips of him attending her shows, and according to both their families, they've never seen them happier. Have you ever seen that girl who went viral for dressing up as Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey as a couple's costume years before they actually began dating? Because that girl and her boyfriend should buy a lottery ticket. Have you ever adopted a child and years later decided to marry them? Yeah, it's weird, right? Because this is exactly what Woody asked. Alan's relationship with his own stepdaughter is like. In fact, he ended his 10 year affiliation with his wife at the time, actor Mia Farrow, in order to pursue his relationship with Soon Yi, which is his adopted daughter. I don't understand how this is allowed, but I don't know, it might just be me. They even appeared on red carpet events together, hand in hand, and if you don't know the story between them, you would assume there is nothing wrong, but the other adopted siblings have claimed disgusting acts Woody allegedly did to them. Definitely a hated celebrity couple, and personally, I think it's a good reason. Anyways, I always I always see things on my social media that I simply don't care about and that includes Jada Pinkett Smith and her relationship with Will Smith. And although Jada seems to be what many point their finger towards, calling her a narcissist who overshares information that should be kept private, whoa sorry Will, I'll make sure to keep her name out of my mouth once she stops oversharing information that we didn't ask for. But they have ultimately grown as a couple. Many can't stand it and those who once supported him have even given up on him because of his wife. I mean the two even had a school back in 2008 called New Village Leadership Academy, which taught curriculum with a technique called study technology, which is a method devised by L. Ron Hubert, who is the founder of the cult or religion Scientology. But yeah, the couple has been criticized for everything from their relationship to red table talk and their parenting and of course the Oscar slap. One couple I definitely did not see coming was the romance between Kylie Jenner and Timothy Chalamet. The two who seem to be complete opposites have been spending time together away from the spotlight but of course not too far away because there are photos of the two showing PDA and this was just surprising to some with one person asking if this was a prank. Another user wrote, tell me how I still don't believe Timothy and Kylie know each other despite there being video evidence now. Here, let's see, a photo of the two side by side and see if it's really surprising or not. Oops, wrong one, I meant to show this one. 
They were kissing and everything, but I think no matter who Kylie dates, they will probably get hate for just being with her. Stormy baby, it looks like Timothy's your new stepfather. Moving on, imagine being with someone for 10 years and once you guys break up, they begin dating someone who you met as a child. Well, Vanessa Hudgens and Austin Butler were long term lovers before ultimately splitting, which resulted in Austin dating supermodel Cindy Crawford's daughter, Kaya Gerber. She is much younger than Austin and was a fan of Vanessa back when High School Musical was released. Look at the difference. It's so crazy that they didn't know it back then, but both girls would end up dating the same man. And because of this, many have actually begun to have a lack of respect towards Austin. Alexa, play I Gotta Go My Own Way from High School Musical 2. Usually the royal family marries within, but Prince Harry had other thoughts as he married former Suits actress Meghan Markle. But since day one, they have gained a ton of hate, especially due to their public appearances and interviews speaking up against the royal family and making serious claims against them. But over the years, it appears the two have been going strong as they even welcomed a family of their own. But it doesn't seem like they have a very good relationship with the royals themselves, and there's even been videos of the public ignoring Meghan or not liking her. First off, we have Tom Cruise and Katie Holmes. Try to find one person in your life who thought Tom and Katie made a cute couple. Spoiler alert, you won't. From Cruise's cringeworthy couch jumping antics on the Oprah show to Katie's revelation that she'd had a crush on Tom as a little girl when Tom was in his late 20s. There is nothing sweet about this odd, icky pairing. Both fans and Hollywood elite alike were left scratching their heads, wondering what could have drawn them together. There actually were whispers it was a prearranged marriage, complete with signed contracts. And let's not forget about the dark specter looming in the background since day one, Scientology. In their five years together, Katie, once a bubbly TV star riding high after a starring role on Dawson's Creek, became quiet and passive alongside her more famous spouse. Years after the high stakes divorce settlement and custody battle over their daughter Siri, we still don't know the full story of what went on behind closed doors. Next up we have Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck. Once a couple 20 years ago, they're now back together and fans are annoyed. Ben is reportedly annoyed with Jennifer currently after her new movie about their love life was recently released on Prime Video. Insiders told The Heat that Affleck was reportedly scared that JLo's new film, This Is Me Now, would ruin his career, and apparently that fear has not dissipated. There is a very real risk that this film will not get the reaction she's expecting. Ben's been complaining to friends this could end up being Geely 2.0, they said. It will be especially especially embarrassing for him considering the career that he's built up and how seriously he takes on his projects. He's scared he's made a big mistake getting involved. This is the second project that they have worked on together and since Geely was so panned by critics, receiving a 6% on Rotten Tomatoes and losing over 60 million dollars at the box office, it seems as though Affleck has been worried about the same treatment and it allegedly has been causing problems in their marriage. J -Lo's new 65 minute musical was released on February 16th, 2024 and has received some seriously mixed reviews. While it was dubbed the worst movie of the century by the Wall Street Journal, the reviews are actually a lot more positive on Rotten Tomatoes with a 74% reviewer tomato meter. Next up we have Kylie and Timothy Chalamet. The pair seems like a happy couple going viral in January for their Golden Globes appearance, but rumors have been swirling that Timothy and Kylie have been suffering relationship issues. Timothy posted alongside Zendaya at the Dune 2 red carpet in South Korea earlier this week. He donned a grey jumpsuit and pouted at the cameras. Zendaya matched the actor and donned a pink jumpsuit. Fans noticed that Timothy seemed to look somber while posing and fans flocked to Reddit to discuss their Thoughts. Somebody schedule a wellness check for Chalamet, one user says. Another saying, can we stop giving these people more attention? They are a bunch of talentless, greedy culture vultures who are helping destroy our planet. And before anybody comes for me, I'm not a Timothy fan either. He is an overhyped mayo man, in my opinion. Next up we have Ariana Grande and Ethan Slater. Just because we learned that Ariana is dating her wicked co-star Ethan Slater a mere three days after news broke that Grande was splitting from her husband Dalton Gomez, doesn't mean the timeline was equally as rushed in real life, right? 
Well, according to sources, it appears Grande was still working on her relationship with Gomez when she flew to the UK to film the musical movie Wicked in December 2022. Though a source told Us Weekly that the couple were having issues and the distance did not help. Meanwhile, Grande's alleged new boyfriend, who is known for playing SpongeBob SquarePants on Broadway and will also be playing the Munchkin Bach in Wicked, was also in a committed relationship when the filming began. In fact, Ethan Slater had been married to his high school sweetheart, Lily J, since 2018, and welcomed his first child with her sometime in 2022. Rumors that Ariana and Ethan had been cheating on their partners began circling, and fans are not having it. One Reddit user wrote, quote, she is a 30 year old grown woman. Zero excuses for being a homewrecker. That man had a newborn baby. Selfish beyond measure. Adding, a newborn and wife whom Ariana hung out with on multiple couples outings. The wife considered Ariana a friend. Another user wrote a detailed thread on the situation saying, quote, for the past couple years, she'll do anything to preserve her happiness at any cost, even when it's messed up. It was inevitable that she was going to get divorced before she got married. And she has a long pattern of not being able to be single and going from one guy to the next. The one time she was single, she threw herself into work. And as soon as her tour was over, she was with somebody else. The Ethan Slater thing is messed up and inexcusable because of the fact he has a child. I genuinely believe that the biggest root of all of it, not even her unresolved trauma, is the fact that all the people in her life, whether it's her teen of 10 plus years, her stage mom or her half brother, they all rely on her and are thus always supportive yes men. Our next hated Hollywood couple is Justin and Hailey Bieber. Fans want Selena back. Even Haley wants Selena, it seems. In a string of tweets from a decade ago, Haley expressed her happiness for Justin Bieber and Selena Gomez's relationship. And now, reading those tweets back, it's a bit awkward. Some of Haley's tweets include, Selena Gomez is so cute, don't argue. Bye. <laughs> and I'm for sure 100% team hashtag Jelena. Another of her tweets read, seriously though, she's beyond flawless and he's, you know, he's Bieber. They are the perfect relationship. I am forever alone. Next, we have Shawn Mendes and Camila Cabello. While they have been friends for years, it wasn't until July 2019 when Shawn and Camila announced they were officially dating. The couple had already collaborated on several hit songs together, including their smash hit, Senorita. And it seemed as if working on music so frequently is what eventually led them to form a relationship. But since going public with their romance, fans have not been convinced their pairing is genuine. With many speculations, whether the whole thing was just one big PR stunt to further promote their careers. Given that they've had a lot of success with their collaborations, pairing up and telling the world a relationship came out of their frequent studio sessions isn't that hard to believe. But fans have plenty of reasons to believe this romance is nothing but smoke and mirrors. Once their second single, Senorita, was released in June 2019, both singers appeared very affectionate towards each other, both on stage and behind the scenes. The following weeks, Camila and Sean were seen everywhere, sharing plenty of date nights as their song continued to climb up the charts, eventually reaching the top spot on the Billboard Hot 100 and selling well over 4 million units in the US alone. By July, the pair went public with their romance, but it was not long before people started speculating whether their supposed love for one another was a PR stunt to help push sales. Fans on social media were quick to voice their opinions about the news of Camila and Sean dating, with one person saying, which was the worst attempt at a fake relationship PR stunt to promote a collab? Zed dating Selena Gomez or Sean dating Camila? Another writing, are you guys done promoting Senorita yet? Next up, we have Jesse James and Sandra Bullock. Sandra was already one of the world's highest paid actresses. In 2013, she got paid 70 million for the movie Gravity. So I'm sure ex Jesse James wanted in on those riches. Jesse and Sandra's almost five year marriage went down in absolute flames when the world found out he had cheated on her with not one, not two, but over three women. And as of 2017, it sounds like he still does not think it's such 
such a big deal. In general, both women and men cheat. It's part of life, he told the Daily Mail. Okay, we have a feeling Sandra would disagree. Next up, we have Miley Cyrus and Luke Hemsworth. Fans think they initially got together to promote their new movie. Cyrus and Hemsworth met in 2009 on the set of The Last Song, the movie adaption of the popular Nicholas Sparks novel. Shortly after filming Wrapped, the two confirmed their romance when they had a PDA-filled goodbye at the airport. Actor Alex Emanuel, who watched their full-on makeout, said the ultra-romantic exchange was like a scene out of an old movie where the guy is getting on a train and they're saying their goodbyes. After an on-and-off relationship for 10 years and the actors getting married, they finally split up in 2019. Miley Cyrus's rep exclusively confirms to people that the couple had split. Quote, Liam and Miley have agreed to separate at this time, the rep said. Three days later, Hemsworth addressed the separation in an Instagram post, writing, just a quick note to say that Miley and I have recently separated. I wish her nothing but health and happiness going forward. Next up, we have Khloe Kardashian and Tristan Thompson. The, the pair is still seen together co-parenting on the Kardashians, their show, but fans think Chloe needs to be stricter with him after he was caught cheating on her not once but two separate times. Lastly, we have Angelina Jolie and Billy Bob Thornton. Angelina Jolie and Billy Bob Thornton's relationship began with the actor cheating on his girlfriend, Laura Dern. From there, the couple proceeded to wear each other's blood in vials around their necks and show off major PDA on the red carpet, all of which turned fans off. Now starting off, we have Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck. Now the pair have been caught fighting many times, but one of the first incidents that occurred was shortly after Jennifer's Today interview, with the couple filmed having what looked like a tense argument. Now, in a clip that quickly went viral on TikTok, JLo appears to taste Ben's drink and then looks at him sternly. She seems visibly fed up with her husband as he tries to defend himself and repeatedly says, Jen. Now, he could also be seen yelling over the music that he did not drink anything. It was theorized that at the time, Ben is insisting that he hasn't been drinking alcohol and she was tasting his drink to check in the video. Now Ben has been open about his recovery from alcoholism and has been to rehab multiple times over the years, like in 2001, 2017, and 2018. But with the video, most people seem to think that Jennifer is being unsupportive of Ben's struggles. It just looks like she doesn't trust him, which is concerning. Then Ben found himself at the center of attention after he was shown looking bored and miserable while he and Jen attended the Grammys. The pair went viral once again after the cameras caught them having yet another tense looking exchange. In the clip, Ben can be seen leaning in to whisper in Jen's ear, only for her to turn her head suddenly and sternly say something to him. She then puts her hand on her chest and looks to tell Ben to sit up as he immediately adjusts his posture. Fans on Twitter had a field day guessing about what the husband and wife duo could have possibly been fighting about, with people speculating that Ben's unusual behavior on that night may have been because he was drinking. Simon Cowell and Lauren Silverman met in 2004 while on vacation in Barbados, although Lauren was married to businessman Andrew Silverman at the time. Years later, Simon and Lauren quietly began seeing each other, and in July 2013, people confirmed that the couple were expecting a child together and that the Silvermans had filed for divorce. In March 2021, paparazzi photographed Simon and Lauren arguing while strolling with their son Eric and their dog. Now, people passing by the couple reported that the X Factor judge had a face like thunder while the couple appeared to be arguing, resulting in Lauren walking away from Simon and the former American Idol judge crossing the street to walk on the opposite side of the road while speaking on his phone. Now, This wasn't the first time the pair has been caught bickering in public as they seem to have been having a furious dispute inside a vehicle in New York City in September 2013. Now, According to page 6, the pair were spotted arguing at the rear of the SUV with their windows down in broad daylight. Simon was seen with his hands in the air while Lauren appeared upset. Now, hours later though, the couple appear to be okay as they strolled down New York's Upper East Side, smiling. In March 2016, singer Megan McKenna joined the reality series The Only Way is Essex. Now, previous to her joining the cast, she and her castmate Pete Wicks were rumored to have been seeing each other. Now, the couple started off their TV romance head over heels for each other. However, with both of them having a tendency to lose their temper, things headed south. The relationship and the fame
failure of it became a major plot point on the show's 2017 season. And about a week after the couple's tear filled split aired on the show, the pair took the drama to the streets, literally, in what the son described as an explosive role that threatened to turn violent. Although they were apparently shooting a scene for the reality series, things got out of hand and production staffers eventually intervened and separated the exes, who were, at times, nose to nose, screaming at and manhandling one another. Now, although the reality stars just couldn't move past Pete's texting scandal, where he was caught sending racy messages to model Jackie Ryland during his time with Megan, they did seem to end up on friendly terms. Now, on a cute, if not slightly awkward run in during a 2019 episode of Celebs Go Dating, they even exchanged a kiss and briefly flirted. Courtney Cox and musician Johnny McDade had been dating since 2013 and took their relationship to the next level when the Snow Patrol singer proposed six months later. However, by November 2015, Cosmopolitan claimed that the pair had split because Courtney was determined to live in Los Angeles while Johnny preferred that they go to London. Now, while the couple renewed their romance in 2016, resolving to work things out and live on different sides of the Atlantic, paparazzi saw them bickering outside a restaurant in West London in August of the same year. Now, Courtney was photographed flailing her arms and appearing strained as the pair sat outside Granger & Co in Notting Hill, London. Now, at one point, she looked to be holding her head in her hands as things began to become more emotional emotional, even turning her head away from her lover. Now, according to the Daily Mail, she gave Johnny quite the treatment before leaving the table, but they are currently together today as Johnny made an appearance at the revealing of her star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame that happened on February 27th, 2023. Ben Affleck and Jennifer Garner first met on the set of the 2000 movie Pearl Harbor, but were in separate relationships at the time. The pair then started a relationship and got married in 2005, and they had three children and likely had a perfect family until their nanny Christine Azoian claimed that she and Ben had an affair. Then in 2016, the pair got caught having an emotional moment inside a car prior to their divorce. The couple were snapped inside their SUV after dropping their three children at school when things got heated. Now, judging by the pictures that circulated online, Jennifer was seen frustrated as she made hand gestures throughout the argument. Now, at one point, she could be seen breaking down in tears inside the vehicle. Now, the reason for this? Well, in 2015, sources told Page Six amid reports reports of Ben's gambling and alleged cheating with other women, that the pair had been drifting apart and had been in professional therapy for years. Now, their split was announced a day after their 10th wedding anniversary, and they finalized their divorce in 2018, but remain on good terms. Stephen Amell and his wife Cassandra Jean have been married since 2012, but things got a little ugly for the couple when they had an altercation on a Delta flight from Austin to Los Angeles that ended up with the actor having to be removed from the flight. Now, according to a report, Amell was screaming at his wife on the plane and appeared to be intoxicated when a flight attendant asked him to calm down several times. However, the actor had to be removed from the flight by an air marshal and three flight attendants who escorted him off the plane while his wife remained on the flight bound for LA. With the incident made public, Amel felt the need to tell his fans what happened on Twitter, saying that he let his emotions get the better of him. My wife and I got into an argument Monday afternoon on a Delta flight from Austin to LA. I was asked to lower my voice and I did. Approximately 10 minutes later, I was asked to leave the flight and I did so immediately. I was not forcibly removed. He said, also adding, I rebooked myself on a Southwest flight two hours later and traveled home without any further issue. I let my emotions get the better of me and a story must be a slow news cycle. Nicholas Holt and Jennifer Lawrence found love when they co-starred in the X-Men movie series. Now the pair, who split in 2014 after dating for nearly five years, were once spotted having a rough moment during a dinner. According to reports, the former couple was at a restaurant together when they started arguing. Witnesses claimed that the actress was upset about something and even threw her hands into the air. Now Nicholas seemingly also grew frustrated as he started shouting. Jennifer apparently had enough with him as he then stormed out of the restaurant. Jesse Nelson and her then fiance Jake Roche arrived together at the album release party for Little Mix's Get Weird album. They were supposed to be in a celebratory spirit for the event, but things took a turn as it ended up with Jesse crying. It was said the pair were caught on camera having a huge fight before Jake stormed out. Now, as for Jesse, she broke down in tears, ruining her makeup that ran down her face. While it remains to be seen what caused the fight at the time, the couple later announced their split as Jake wasn't ready to have a child. But wow, did he really have to start something with her on the day of an important event? Now, John Mayer and Jessica Simpson were together for a year in 2006 and kept fans guessing on their on-again, off-again relationship. Now, their dysfunctional ways were exposed while they were
they were on vacation in Cabo San Lucas, Mexico. By the looks of the pictures captured by the paparazzi, Jessica was so over him. Shortly after the pictures surfaced, news broke out that the couple had called things off. Now to add insult to injury, it was confirmed that they had actually broken up in these photographs. An insider confirmed this to People, saying they broke up Sunday night, but who knows what the future will hold. This is the 12th time they've broken up. Their relationship is volatile. Last week they felt better than ever, this week things are rocky, who knows what the future will bring. Now a friend of John added their two cents about what went wrong by saying every relationship has its differences, but with Jessica and John, those differences were starting to become more and more apparent. Kourtney Kardashian and Scott Disick have had many fights throughout the years, and a lot were caught on camera for keeping up with the Kardashians. Although they usually fought in the privacy of their own homes, there were multiple instances where they fought out in public, like when they were having lunch in Miami. Now the pair only had two kids at the time, Mason and Penelope, and these parents weren't seeing eye to eye. Although the drama was revealed to be filmed for an episode of Keeping Up With The Kardashians, so it's up to you to decide whether it was staged or not, but Scott could be seen waving his hands in the air and even pointing at Courtney. Yet Courtney just laughed and seemed to shrug off his complaint. Planes. Now the tension continued until they finished their meal and left the restaurant. Now at the time, Courtney and Scott were going through a rocky patch in their relationship, as an insider close to Scott told the Daily Mail that he was on a downward spiral and more of a mess than I've ever seen him. Now the insider also claimed that it was Chloe who stepped in to tell Courtney that her partner was drinking again. Now the famous duo have since broken up and still very much co-parent their three children together. Oh,